Family Time 166. We're continuing our look at relationship skills. And specifically, we're focusing in on communication. That's really the foundation of any positive relationship, is effective communication. But communication can be a complex thing. It's important for us to look at what really constitutes effective communication. And it's good for us to start to find our communication style, what really works for us. People are different. Not everyone is an extrovert and wants to talk to everybody. We can still be effective communicators, even if we're a little more introverted. We just have to find ways to use our own skills, our own preferences with communication. But communication is key to any successful relationship, whether it's working with other people in a, in a business setting, in an employment type setting, communication is key. Whether we're part of a team, an organization, it's important to be clear about our directives. It's important for us to be able to communicate with each other. In our friendships, in our romantic relationships, communication is key to let other people know how we're feeling without making them feel like they're being attacked. For us to be active listeners and engaged in communication. So to start with, I want you to think of some people you feel are effective communicators. This could be famous people, people we see in the media, it can be people we know in our own lives. I think of a lot of different people, a lot of different ways of communicating. One that popped into my head when I was thinking about this is Andrew Solomon. Andrew Solomon has a couple of famous TED Talks. He's a writer who investigates a lot of complex situations and ideas, and he's exceptionally articulate. His TED Talks are crazy. He'll talk for 15 minutes, however long it is. Doesn't have an um or an uh or a stammer. And he is very calm and collected. And he talks about some intense things and some personal things. And it's delivered just very beautifully and eloquently. He has a very high level vocabulary. I'm like, wow, this guy is a very effective communicator. And it's different than maybe how I communicate or how other people I think are effective communicators because that's his own style. We all have to find those things that work for us. I think, now I'm not always an effective communicator, but I think when I'm effectively communicating, when I'm at my best communicating, I tend to rely on things like enthusiasm, just being excited about things, and then telling stories. I tell stories a lot to try to illustrate a point or try to connect to something else. That's, those are the tools that I use. Those, those things connect with me. And it's important for everyone to find. It's important for you all find the things that work for you. I also want you to think about people in your life, people we know who are effective communicators. Hopefully in a school, you have teachers and coaches that you feel are effective communicators. And we could probably think about, I don't want to don't want to single people out, but you can probably think about teachers or coaches or parents or a boss you have at work, different people you think, oh, this person really is an effective communicator. And you can probably think of examples of like, hmm, there's a, there's a disconnect here. I have a harder time communicating with this person. And that's important to think about why that's the case. Why are we able to more easily connect with some people than with others? And we're part of that too, even when we're the receiver of a message. It's important to develop skills where we are delivering a message, how to get our message across clearly, but also how to be an effective listener, an active communicator in that way where we're bringing in information. So I want you to think about that as well. What makes an effective listener? And that can be part of when you're talking about somebody who's a good communicator. I think sometimes some of the best communicators I know are people who listen a lot. 
who don't have as much to say or interject, they will actually listen to what's being said and take that in and consider those things. That's really important. So think about those things a little bit. Let's try to focus on how we can be effective communicators when we're delivering a message, but also when we're receiving it, how to be good, active listeners and what that means. And let's start by looking at examples, people we think are effective communicators. Until next time, much love.